In 1931, officials convicted a 12-year-old boy of first-degree murder and sentenced him to life in jail. The boy, Herbert Nichols, committed the crime in Asotin, Washington, where he lived with his grandmother. Nichols bounced around for most of his childhood. He lived between his mother's place and a state reformatory school for boys before moving in with his grandmother. Nichols also had a history of misdemeanors as a child. Mostly, he would steal small items. On one morning in August, Nichols shot a Sutton County Sheriff, John L. Wormel. Nichols set off an alarm at the convenience store he attempted to steal gum and cigarettes from. When the sheriff and the deputy walked inside, Nichols' gun went off. Nichols spent six nights in the county jail before he was transferred to Washington State Prison in Walla Walla. The prison kept Nichols isolated from the other inmates because of his age. The judge gave Nichols a life sentence, and the case of the boy who shot the sheriff quickly became a national issue. From the national attention came public outrage. People wrote hundreds of letters to the judge demanding that the boy be treated as a child. His sentence should not imitate that of an adult, they argued. After nine years in prison, Nichols was pardoned by former Washington Governor Arthur Langley. Many jobs later, he went on to work in the accounting department at 20th Century Fox. Nichols had a wife and one son and died from a heart attack in 1983. This is Northwest Public Broadcasting.